Hi, I'm Chris Chrome, and I'm a garage shop fabricator. Welcome to FF Journal TV. Uh, basically, what we have here is this is a full-scale drawing of our bike we're building for the World Championships uh, that take place in Sturgis, uh, South Dakota every year. And uh, no Americans ever won these World Championships, so we've kind of gone all out. John, who uh, does all our engineering, also happens to be my father, uh, he's kind of been on me the last couple of years. He, he came up with this idea of, of building a bike that actually articulates in the center. And uh, rather than having a conventional neck on a motorcycle, this thing is actually going to pivot side to side. Um, and through the extensive uh, drawing and CAD work, we kind of come up with the proper rake and trail and the geometry that we believe will work. Um, it's not been tested other than modeled on, on the screen. We have uh, got the bike started and, and, and built off of this drawing. Um, all the tubing, uh, which is uh, 304 stainless steel, was hand formed and bent and rolled and laid onto the drawing so it actually is truly to scale. As my father was the owner and operator of several different fabrication facilities in a structural nature, uh, you know, I grew up at a young age uh, learning to weld, fabricate, kind of watching and uh, working with my father throughout the summers. Uh, high school, I decided the fabrication business wasn't what I wanted to be in. I ran off and did the college thing and became a stockbroker. Shortly learned that that wasn't my calling and, uh, and kind of came back to the structural business. Uh, and also went back to work with my father on, on different occasions. So we we had always been fabricating of some sort, and we had been doing it with four wheels for several years, years and years. Uh, I was the first in my family to kind of take it to two wheels and started into the fabrication of custom motorcycles. Maybe people don't like the style, and everybody has their own opinion. But what everybody can appreciate in, in this world is what we still actually hand build all of our motorcycle frames, parts, and pieces. And a lot of the equipment we use maybe isn't the top-notch computerized stuff. It's more of a hand feel, uh, measuring, tape measure. It's all actually hand-built. And there's a very few number of us builders in the world that are still doing that. We build anywhere from eight to, to, to 12 bikes a year. And um, they're uh, of a high caliber, and they don't leave our shop until they're a quality that we really uh, feel it up to standard. We're, we're assembling our world championship bike here. We've got it back, finished polishing. Uh, this is the front half of what's going to be the articulating portion of the motorcycle. The rear half is uh, finished with uh, our continuing to polish, which the bike will sit in this kind of uh, formation and angle. These are going to be the handlebars. Taking some earlier footage of uh, actually when we were welding this portion of the frame in, this is actually the finished product. I uh, can see that the polisher has taken the, the time and effort to blend the weld in. They actually grind this down and polish it. Takes, takes many, many hours to get this flawless look to where now it just looks like liquid metal. This is actually the bottom section of the top section that we looked at over there. Uh, it's 
standing up, the seats going to mount here were built down. These are the two pivot points that we spoke of where the bike will pivot in the middle. The motor actually mounts here. This is the motor we've been polishing on as well. Uh, James with Wright Lee Polishing has been polishing on this motor. John's doing the, the final assembly of it, putting the, uh, the motor back together. That's the 1970 Triumph uh, Bonneville. So we're pretty excited. The polish job has turned out fabulous. I think it's two days to have the final assembly. And uh, it's a Triumph motor that's also fully polished. And uh, it's been coming together quite well so far. So we're real apprehensive and we're real, real excited, I should say. Uh, about uh, getting to the world, but it's going to be close, it's going to be tight schedule, and uh, hopefully we'll get it done in time. show everybody our 75 degrees of rate comes from the two pivot points in the front and in the back that gives us our full articulating motion gives us 30 degrees of turn each way so at slow speeds it handles much like a chopper but without the flop same kind of a turning radius but at your normal riding speed it's a very comfortable ride much great <laughs> great deal of turning motion it's full articulate both directions you can see that articulated motion again from this side as they come back around also, the elastomeric suspension I talked about highly. This is a full concealed elastomeric suspension. You can see how that suspension works. You have the same pressure up as you do down. So you not only have a good ride, but you also keep all your rubber to the road at all times. So what we have is the first 100% stainless steel, 304 stainless steel, articulating motorcycle with a full action elastomeric suspension, articulating motion, 304 stainless, built by Chrome Customs Inc.